Ladies and gentlemen, here are the stars of our show. Pat Sajak and Anna White. Thanks, everybody. Well, a lot of changes here in season uh, 39. Of course, the biggest change is Anna and I retired last year. We look fabulous, by the way. Thank you. Well, you too. How you doing, everybody? Good to see you all. Uh, you've got your devices all set. We're going to do our first toss-up. It's worth $1,000. It's What Are You Doing? That is the category. Here we go. Michelle. Addition and subtraction. Michelle Becerra, right? Uh, All right, everybody, get ready. We'll do another toss-up here. This one is worth $2,000. And the category is Thing. Go ahead, Vanna. Michelle. Space Exploration. Yeah, it again. So he's got both the toss-ups, so you are going to start the first round with a spin, but I'm told, before you do that, you need to get that fixed. Uh, Jim Thornton has something to say. You have it on good authority, Pat. Here's tonight's featured prize. Uncover the natural wonders of Costa Rica on this educational journey courtesy of Rogue Scholars. Discover exotic birds, volcanoes, stunning waterfalls, and so much more. Explore the world with Rogue Scholars, the leader in educational travel for adults. Visit RogueScholar.org. $7,150. Oh boy, and for the first time in our 39th season here, we're going to do a crossword, a Wheel of Fortune crossword, and the clue is teaching blank. All right, keep that in mind as you play, and the play will be started by Michelle. You have $6,700, Michelle. What do you think? Are you going to try to solve it, or are you going to spin it? I would like to solve. All right, be careful. Say everything that's up there. Don't add anything. Go ahead. History, yoga, online, kindergarten. Yeah, teaching. <laughs> And Michelle's show here so far, $6,700 that round. You got both toss-ups, so you have $9,700. Wow. But we got some money to spread around. Don't anyone be distressed. We'll be back twice some more. Keep it week here on Real of Fortune. Best $10,000. So two mystery wedges on the wheel, one underneath one, you'll find a bankrupt. On the other one, you'll find $10,000. Someone might have to try to figure out that mystery a little bit later. Right now, phrased is the category. Michelle's been dominating, but TJ's going to get her chance right now. Go Let's ahead. I like to solve. All right, go ahead. Go to the principal's office. Yeah. <laughs> That was such an effective presentation. I'm going to the principal's office. <laughs> uh, you got $2,600. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we continue with our uh, Teacher's Week festivities here. Place is the category for this next round, and it is our Prize puzzle round, and Darren, who got the last round, gets to start the play. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you want to solve this? I would like to yeah, solve okay. it. Caribbean coastline. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens? There's a word, and you're saying, I know I should know this, and it just doesn't want to, and I'm glad it yes. worked out because now you can go to Mexico. And that's <laughs> all-inclusive Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. Indulge in five-star minutes, spaces, exhilarating nightlife, and so much more. Seven thousand two hundred six dollars. Hey Jim. Hey Pat. Jim, do the uh, do the rock star thing. It's 
the ultimate rock star vacation. Uh, Michelle, big round, 11,000 plus. You have 20,956 dollars. A big lead overcome, but it can be overcome. We'll see what happens. This Wheel of Fortune memory from 2002 is brought to you by Feather Girl. All right, triple toss-up time. $2,000 for three puzzles. Each of them were $2,000. Character is the category for all of them. Somebody gets all three, they get an extra four grand, and here we go. That leads us to number two. Darren. Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's it. That leaves one more worth $2,000, and here it comes. DJ. Captain Underpants. There you go. That's actually a very clever uh, group of uh, kids' stories there. And uh, so TJ gets two of the three for $4,000, which gets her on the board. I know she's happy about that. Showbiz is the category for this next round. And TJ, since uh, you got that, you're going to start in a moment. Let me tell you that sound is, the time is running out. You're controlling the wheel, so you get the honor of doing the final spin there. So we'll add a 1000 to whatever you land. Yeah, pretty impressive, isn't it? I got scared. <laughs> for every consonant we find. Again, the category is showbiz. TJ, what letter do you want to start with? N. One N. Darren. D. No. Shell. R. Three R. DJ. S. One S. Showbiz. Darren. C. C. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Three ring circles. That is it. Family <laughs> <laughs> strategy, I noticed. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> uh, well, you end up with a really nice night, Darren. Uh, Thirty-two hundred dollars that round. Seven thousand eight hundred dollars. Thank you very much for doing it. Thank you. Uh, TJ, uh, you ended up with that four thousand dollars. We're real happy about that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really for appreciate me. it. Michelle, you got off a strong start and never looked back. Twenty thousand nine hundred fifty-six dollars. Uh -oh. Let's look at some categories now: thing, food and drink, person. Person. All right. Well, we're having a fun Teacher's Week here, and uh, tonight Michelle finds herself in bonus land with $20,956. Oh. <laughs> you ready to do this thing? I'm ready. All right, spin it. All right. Drop your head over there. I'll head over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you chose person.
So every time we do Teacher's Week, we get emotional responses from people who don't like what we do with the apostrophe. So that's a singular possessive. That's the way they do Father's Day with the apostrophe there. Mm -hmm. You could also do it after the S and make it a plural possessive, or mm -hmm. you could do it without an apostrophe, and then it's attributive. It's not actually possessive. So the point is, you could make an argument for any of them, and this is the way we chose to do it, so don't bother us. <laughs> you have anything to add to that? Which one do you like? I like the third one that yeah, you no, said. Yeah, I would go with that too, but this is fine too. All right, I'm through yelling at you. Okay, we'll see you next say time. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. back with more fun on America's game back in March.